Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Tong hai tuam jiji jung lumpa nita poe tikito dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut 
Kachichu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto tun. Chila mulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Runda di hotonga kun hankabi. Wonga kumbis ching palamule tungking ba nunotek. Tug nincha tu kunne mulera bes. Chi gratu lo da bograshi onni un kumba chin tromba mochuba. Lo da nita kun. Ida patisa batua kacha tu tong. Bograsha kun ticha ka um. Chuba kaha chopa chawa chuish yunku. Jodo jin bunga ranta. Ta kum justak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale oganda nalu chuchut. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Tong haitwam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto tun. Chila mulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Ta kum jus tak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale oganda nalu chuchut. Mugisha punga bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo podadada nanga kumbis mulera best. Chi gratu loda bograshi onni un kumba chin tromba mochuba. Loda nita kun. Ida patisa batua kacha tu tong. Bagra sha kun ticha ka um. Chuba kaha chopa chawa chuish yunku. Jodo jid bunga rantang. Tolpa da bongwale gandu nangugu chuchut. Kava dum ku pilio bo tenya. Bona nai kuchu. Hawaga boska chokola. Mucha shag panka. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek. Tug nin cha tu kun ne mule rabes. Tung abog sha um ninong. Wanga kun bez keng palemuraya. Chuni yun tun chichi ida duana. Kava volpa mulje gumana. Tag bis ju bongo koki mak panga, ching para chiska mule tunarana nu prata dongo si cha tuma wamama tus keba toma ni sha ju lorja king kuno bulera chan shak bulara umra chiska duchi on chuban chiska yanki ti toke gratun kun chicha kun king kacha chono bra bogra. Nechi chuna chuba ching lorda it. We tam boragatong mulira ashang turung ni na potata tuanga chun tize igrutu haga jijiwa wata chuma wana hu wama hu. Chi gratu loda bograshi oniu kumba chin tumba mochuba loda ni ta kun. Ida patisa batua kacha tu tong. Bagra sha kun ticha ka um. Chuba kaha chopa chawa chuish. Mucha sha kpa khat. Ki ye no no nama pao le rachi kun. Achuta. Wonga.
Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha. Chupa punky. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My homeworld was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. No, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later.
I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and girl on fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Girl on Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. No hard feelings, my good man, but I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I guess you've experienced many lonely evenings, something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat can cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. That's better. 
Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? What? Why are you here if you don't even know what the dueling ring is? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. I love watching Ice fight. She proves this isn't just a man's game. Wait. I know what you're going to say. I'm so beautiful, I'm so attractive. How can someone who looks so hot with a weapon in her hand be called Ice? Well, I've heard it all before. I'm here to take care of business in the dueling ring, not to have some slack-drawed, goggled-eyed man slobber all over me. So back off. Well, now you know why they call me Ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. Hello there, Offworlder. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Morrow. I'm one of the duelists here at the Cantina. I was wondering when you'd get around to talking to me. No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles, looking for a little excitement in their drab lives. But you're different. You look like you know a thing or two about combat. I'm guessing you didn't come here to sit on the sidelines and watch a duel. Are you looking for a match? My area of expertise is pretty much limited to the dueling ring and the other combatants here at the cantina. But I'll try to answer any questions you might have. Only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into the Undercity. Anyone caught harboring survivors will be arrested and executed. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rulers of Terrace? It's fine by me, just so long as they don't shut the duel ring down. The duels themselves are simple enough. Two combatants armed with stun pistols enter the ring. One walks out a winner. The other is carried out unconscious on a stretcher. If you're interested in setting up a match, or if you want to place a wager, just go speak to Adger. He's that hut over in the corner. He'll make all the arrangements. Goodbye, stranger. Maybe we'll talk again later. Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. 
I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging out around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know? A job with long hours and low pay, I might add. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give up this lousy job. Retire my uniform, so to speak. Senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm liable to say something that might get me in trouble. Don't you just love watching the Fazak players? All that. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player? Questions? If you ever... Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the... Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. No, of course, of course. No sense in a youngster like you. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. Off with you then. I'm done with this conversation anyway. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested.
Anything I can do to help a potential... I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Dabix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker Gang... <laughs> The lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Vulcans now. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Hmm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade-breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. So I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement instead of always going after each other. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs> Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. You're giving me 100 credits? Just like that? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him a hundred credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away.
fish platter coming to, huh? Yep. Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars Seju belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Uh, come on, fellas. This let me ain't worth the bother. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. <laughs> come on, fellas, let's go. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by them. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookies and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them. Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action. We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Kook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. Off-limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols, so unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. I'm not here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the Taris Tourist Board. Now just move along, unless you have the proper authorization papers. Walks among us. The enemy is here. Kinkunshik, 
Kachin Awana Wamata Nishi La Chorga Kin Kun Palamona Reji Ching Pala Niska Mule Dun Rata Tigin Potranko De Sarcha Doma Wana Kondatama We Timen Bon Rang Thong Mule Ra on Shanturing Um Ni Patoka Wanga Chonzi Tse Ika Krotu Haku Jije Watu Yama Kama Wuna Henak Nek Kipuna Bona na kichu, kin ba mule radwana, don kin ba no kudnok nek, kava numpa kum pialiar monokata, ranga kun bis kin no moruat, ka kin chana guana brokon. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. <laughs> I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Kenchopa chawi ti chokt wis yun kun, watu yama kama wuna henak nek, bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa. Tong abuk shami no nok. China pala mule, tong ki ba non tontek. Tun ni cha chon kun ne mule brabast. Kin kun shi ka kachin awana wamata. Ni shi la chorga kin kun pala mule reji. Ching pala niska mule ur tun rata digin pot dranko. De sarcha doma wana kondatama. Kuyami jivuk chik chita na patogta. Ya fulke gogala jiji. Ka wana bona atu gawa, kan ki do rakun watimi ala bola. Ka kin cha na kwat na bon kon, wana kumbes, chi pala mulek, tong ki pa na nonek, tu nik ton chun chun ki nemolek rabest, wuf mala ni bo kurk. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang, Wanga kum kiba bu mule ra ka kin chak noa gawa bakon. Donk kiba nukunek, tanga bok sha um nak nong, mucha shakapanga, ye ki kun no ba mula dra ki chiton. Tangabun shan om nang, wanga kun beast kin ba mula ra, choni yun tun jiji ida dwana, kava kava dumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu, yin kin kun no ba mule ra chi kun, tong nabun shan nu yang, chinapala mule, tong ki ba non tontek, tun ni cha chon kun ne mule brabast. Tangabun shan om nang, wanga kun beast kin ba mula ra, choni yun tun jiji ida dwa. Tangabuk sha om nak nong, kin kun. Hachu a Tangabu Kakin Witimem bon rang thong Muli ra on shanturing um ni patoka wanga chonzi tse Ika krotu hakuji hakuji kopa Rundi i chawa tong bola johnny ku Yuma wama nibo lora waish Rundi i chawa tong bola johnny ku. Yuma wama nibo lora wai. 
kin chopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun watu yama kama wuna henak nek bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa dong abuk shami no nok kakin cha na guat na bon kon wana kum bes chi pala mulek tong ki pa na no nek tu nik ton chun chun ki nemolek ra best wuf mala ni bokurk Tanga bok sha um nak nong kin kun shin shin kin nikin kun na bule mule raji kun shuni yun ni ji ji alduana kava volpa muli kumana china pala mule tong ki ba non tontek tun randi i chawa tong bola johnny ku yuma wama nibo lora waisha waga shi chi Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. Don't! Don't hurt my family! Look, just take what you want and get out! Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. What was that? Did I hear you right? Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach this civilian the penalty for defying the Sith.
And now for the Dufka. She endured it out, and was it good? She offered you. Couldn't you grab find you, Delfa? Oh, it's it on Delfa, but it's not on Delfa. She had far the good reason to fit her on the butt. When good does. Dufka dan Delfa. Oh, it's it on Delfa. Couldn't you grab find you, Delfa? Oh, it's it on Delfa. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot survive. 